Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me just make sure, oh, my camera is just there. Good morning and welcome to this week's episode of Monday Motivation. If this is the very first time you've watched this, and I know that so many of you have liked the page and shared the page and um, have heard of me even just recently after a talk that I did last week. Thank you so much for loving the page, liking the page, jumping in and commenting, and thank you so much for watching. So if you are watching this for the very first time, you know, sometimes Monday gets a bit of a bad rap. Well, I decided quite a long time ago in 2008 that I wanted to change that. I wanted Monday to be a day where we felt motivated, ready to go and, you know, ready to face the world and whatever was um, coming at us. So if you like some of the regulars that watch the Monday Motivation Live, are watching, maybe you're getting ready, you're going out to work, you're getting the kids ready, or you're just an early bird that likes to get a kickstart to your Monday, thank you for coming and thank you for watching. But if you are like Alan, who says, good morning, Jenny, please, you know, you're free to lurk in the background, but if you like to um, interact and want to ask questions or make comments as we go through, please do type in the box just like Alan did. And I will say hello to you. So, this week's Monday Motivation is an interesting one. I've called it Not On My Watch. And if it was maybe a bit later in the day, I might be feeling a bit more defiant, but it's as, as defiant as I'm gonna get at 7 a.m. on a Monday morning. Because this Monday is famously known as Blue Monday. So let me tell you where this comes from and why I'm saying Not On My Watch. So. First of all, Blue Monday apparently was discovered by somebody who was researching into various factors um, of this particular Monday in January. They said, as a rule of thumb, for many people, because it's the third Monday in January, which apparently it's been coined, the third Monday in January, it's the one that's the one before payday, so people are wondering about money and things like that, apparently. Dark mornings, so not as much sunlight around, and the weather for many people isn't always great. Of course, if you're in Australia and you're going into the summer or you're in a, a hot climate, then no, this fact is not gonna be part of this consideration. Now, I get why on paper you could add those things up. Morning, France Lise, morning. I, I get why on paper you could say, oh, the weather's not great, oh, it's dark, oh, it's, you know, payday's not for another week or two. And I get why you could say, oh, you know, it's a blue Monday, but actually, I'm going to call you on that because, you know, this day is the same as any other of the 365 days we have in a year and 366 in a leap year. The other thing that I'm concerned about here is that Blue Monday um, seems to have been nicely orchestrated to tell us how to feel. And for any of you that watch Monday Motivations on a regular basis, I don't roll in that way. I don't roll like that. And um, neither should you. So here's the first thing I want to say about Blue Monday. There is absolutely no scientific proof. So knowing that, hi Faye, good morning. So knowing that there's no scientific proof of a Blue Monday, you will likely hear a lot about it in the press. Um, you'll likely, you know, hear a lot about it on the news, on the radio, read it in magazines, in newspapers, um, and you'll hear about it. So I have got five things that I'm gonna quickly run through because now we know why it's known as Blue Monday and what it's all about, like how to navigate it. And I've got my notes on pink paper today, so I'm just looking down. So the first thing is, um, how we do anything is how we do everything. So if you are accepting being told by somebody that this is how you have to feel, this is how you have to be on this specific day, then I would invite you to choose something different for yourself. Choose something that serves you better for yourself. So do you accept it without a question? There are some things in life that, you know, this might be an easier one for many of you who I know are kind of like positive um, thinkers and want something different for your lives, for your families, for the people around you. You want to make a difference in the world. But there are things that we accept for ourselves. 
maybe we tolerate things, maybe we um, put up with things, maybe there's something that we want in life, it's a goal that we're actually going for, and we say to ourselves, you know what, I'll have to focus on that later, I'll have to do it next year. So are you accepting anything, and do you accept um, without question, oh, my nice thing that I've put on the wall has just fallen down. <laughs> so do you accept without question, um, because if you're doing it on something like a day of the week, it's likely that you might be doing it in other areas of your life. And also, there'll be some areas where you're totally not accepting that, totally um, you know, making your own choices and decisions, but these sneaky little critters can come in in certain places. You know, you might be the person that's like, don't take any nonsense, don't take any rubbish, yet you're saluting the magpies when you see them, or you're believing that, you know, if you don't do something or don't say something, it'll happen. So I would get you just to revisit, use today to revisit what you question and what you accept. Because if there's an area where you like you don't question it and you just accept it, there'll be somewhere else in your life. And of course there'll be areas where you're like, nope, not having it. So number one, do you accept without a question? Number two, what do you choose? So you can choose to have today to be a white hot Monday, one where even if you're busy, even if you're tired, even if outside circumstances are a bit strained at the moment, even if your health isn't where you'd like it to be, even if your business is still on the climb and you wish that it was on a you know, crescendo, no matter what you are um, or where you are in this, even if you are not 100% with where you are, what do you choose instead? Because sometimes in the striving, in the wanting, in the waiting, it's the easiest way for us to demotivate ourselves. And in fact, for those of you who are in the Facebook group, the Visibility Vibes Tribe, I actually will be um, hosting an interview with the most amazing um, Murray Hambro. Um, and by the way, for those of you who book speakers and things like that, I definitely want you to point your friends to this, um, this particular interview because I'm going to be asking a question on Murray's behalf um, to, to get his story out there more in a much, much bigger way. So um, yes, that's 12 noon today. Um, and if you're watching this on the replay, then by all means, you know, hop on over into the group and you'll hopefully get to see the replay of that too. So second um, question is, what do you choose? Do you choose to have a, a Monday that's filled with awesomeness? You know, I think about um, Blue Monday last year and one of the things that I do for most years, didn't do it this year, but for most years, um, January, I want to spend it in a place that feeds my soul. I want to spend it in a place that's, you know, warm <laughs> and somewhere that's really great. So this time last year, I was in Barbados and I remember the only blue on Blue Monday that I saw was the sea and the sky. It was immense. And I made a choice. I made a choice that I wanted to do something different on that day. So that's number two. So number three is a really um, cool one. We've got access to this all the time, yet so many times and so often we forget that we can do this. And I'm going to call this Choose Your Happy Place. So there will be places, there'll be experiences, there'll be people, there'll be feelings, there'll be things, many, many things that you've done in your life that make you feel happy, that really lift your spirits, that make you feel invincible, that just bring about, you know, that warm, soft, gooey, glowy feeling. And you have access to that any time that you want to. I like to call it the happy place because I remember many years ago, I was in hospital and the ward that I was on, um, there was a, a young lady who really didn't like blood tests. She was 19. Um, she didn't like blood tests at all. And um, so much so, she got really anxious, the build up to knowing she was gonna have a test. Um, and every time she had to have any sort of test done, her parents were always there with her. And I remember um, in between kind of like uh, visiting times and doctor rounds, we were talking about um, having this discussion on the ward about, you know, things that we didn't like doing. And she just said, I really hate it. It makes me nervous, it makes me feel sick. Then I don't eat. Then the nurses like tell me off and I really don't like it. And I remember talking her through this in quite a, a lot more detail than I am now in the, in the few minutes that we've got. 
Um, but here's how you can use what I'm um, speaking about to give you like a bit more of a longer transformation. So what she did was um, I got her to think of a couple of different experiences that she was just like happy. And for you, it could be a holiday too. It might be um, looking into the eyes of your, your child or grandchild or, um, you know, it could be that feeling that you've just, you know, you've just accomplished something, it's made you happy. You know, a friend of mine successfully walked 26.2 miles yesterday. Um, I'm so proud of her. So it could be any one of those feelings, but go for the one that's the strongest, the one that lights you up, up the one that makes you feel great, the one that just makes you feel soft and squidgy inside. And um, label that happy place, give it, give it a name, give it something that you can recall in like one word. And then when you've done that, here's why this works. The brain doesn't know when something's really happened or not. So if we use today to worry, to get stressed, as we're thinking and worrying and getting stressed, our brain thinks that something stressful and worrying is happening and it will fire out all of the hormones and all of the things that you don't want, you don't want, and it will just make you feel more of a thing that you don't want. But when you choose your happy place, yes, I like that label, <laughs> bed. <laughs> um, when you choose something that feels really great, and thank you for the love hearts, good to see a bit of pink across the screen on a Monday morning. Um, when you choose something that is, um, you know, got all the sort of characteristics, you can tick them all off in your happy place. Your brain doesn't know that that's not happening either. So guess what? That holiday that you remember, that experience that you're reliving, your brain all of a sudden is sending round these nice sort of happy hormones around your body, which is making you feel gooey and lovely and just in your happy spot all over again. So I would, I would pick some happy places that you can visit to any time of not just this morning, not just this Monday, not even just this week. It might be for the rest of the month. It might be that you get a nice smorgasbord menu of happy places. You might have one for feeling ecstatic. You might have one for feeling excited. You might have one for feeling on top of the world. Pick yourself a menu of them. It doesn't matter, you can't overuse them. So just, you know, just pick yourself a menu of them at any time today. The hardest thing about this exercise isn't doing the exercise, it's remembering to do it. It's remembering to call it in when somebody's just rattled your cage. It's remembering to do it when you feel that you need it. So Faye said, snuggling down in clean sheets with a good book and a hot toddy. That sounds like bliss. I wonder if I can get away with doing that at seven in the morning. <laughs> I wonder. So find your happy place. And trust me, when you find your happy place, you can switch that happy feeling on at any given time. Faye's, um, Faye's post there is a great post. If you've got other um, happy place descriptions um, that you want to share with anyone else who's watching this now or anyone else who might be watching it on the replay, please go ahead and do. And thank you for the love hearts again. So the fourth thing is, are you willing to see today or any other day for that matter differently? Here's the real reason why Blue Monday really irks. Because if you are invested in Monday being blue or this Monday being blue, then you're not willing to see today as being different to anything other than a day of feeling down. And I have to say at this point, feeling down or feeling blue is completely different to any of you who um, travel life with depression or um, anything like that, um, you know, mental health, um, mental health issues, or anything that um, afflicts you. This isn't about, you know, um, sticking some bright lipstick on and just pulling your socks up and getting on with it. Um, so if any of you are going through anything that's um, that needs a little bit more than just a touch of Monday motivation, then I would urge you to seek support, like open up to someone, even if it feels like the scariest thing that you've ever um, going to do open up and speak to someone and if you're not already in the visibility vibes tribe that is a place where you can share your celebration share your wins but also share that you might need support on something so yes um 
<laughs> so other things that you're doing to get into your happy place is go binge watching stupid videos on YouTube. I love that France Lee's. Once upon a time that worked really well for me, but then I know of myself that I kind of feel guilty the amount of time of watching that. And I do I do watch a few random things here on Facebook too, especially when clients say, Can you can you watch this video of mine? And I watch it and then it comes up with something else. So yeah, I do get that. However, you know, um, one that I do recommend on YouTube if you're feeling a bit low is the Laughing Babies. If you type into YouTube Laughing Babies, you'll find them. Six babies who are now not babies. I think they're like, they've gone past the teenage years. I think they're in their 20s now. Um, but these Laughing Babies who um, their dad makes them laugh and all six of them start giggling. There's nothing more heartwarming than watching a very small baby giggle. I mean, you know, there probably is other things for other people, but for me, that's one that makes me laugh. So, um, and Francis says, laughing is free medicine. Absolutely agree with that. Completing the ministry of crazy dances in a club with friends and not caring um, how hot and sweaty you look. And it's, I think it's just cut the rest of that off. So I can't read the rest of that. But um, absolutely, there's a saying, isn't there? Dance like no one's watching. That's exactly where that comes from. I had a little boogie on a Saturday night as well. So um, absolutely feeling you on that one, Faye. So number four is, are you willing to see today or a situation differently? Are you willing to do that? Because the moment that you say, yep, yeah, I'm willing, I'm prepared, but I'm willing to see things differently, things will look different. Wayne Dyer used to say, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I cannot agree any more wholeheartedly with that. So, um, so that's that one. And number five, um, choose you and check on someone else. What do I mean by that? Quite often, one of the um, best ways to lift your spirits is to um, take the onus away from just you and extend that to other people. So maybe there's a friend that you haven't seen for a long time or heard from from a long time. Maybe here on Facebook, there's someone that you thought, oh, they've been quiet, are they okay? Do you know how many times a day likely, let alone a week, that that goes through your head? It might be, you know, I think of um, friends of mine, I think, gosh, I haven't spoken to them for ages. And it becomes a fleeting thought that goes through my mind. What if, when we had those thoughts, what happened to so-and-so? Haven't heard from them for a while. What if we just sent them a message and said, are you okay? You know, um, I did this in December with a couple of people um, and I got responses on, you know, for anyone that I'd sent these messages out to. And this is not to say, oh, look at me, I'm the perfect human citizen. But this is to say that um, I heard back from them and they were appreciative of somebody reaching out to them and it also answered the question as to why I hadn't heard from them. So I would say, choose you. First and foremost, choose you. Because if you're depleted, if you're tired, if you're feeling angry or irritable, sad or anything else, it's really hard to be that beacon of light in the world that you want to be. So choose you first. Let go of the thought that it might be a selfish act. Let go of all of that. Choose you first. And then also check on your surroundings, check on the people around you, check on someone. And here's an action that I'm gonna give you today. I don't often give you actions on this. And I'm gonna um I'm gonna read out some more of your um your happy places to go to. So um here's something I'm gonna give you. Think of somebody, it could be somebody online, it could be somebody offline, it could be a family friend, um, it could be a member of the family, it could be anybody that you haven't heard from or any bodies that you haven't heard from for a long time. And I invite you today just to send them a message, a text, even pick up the phone. Um, if they're around the corner from you, go around, knock on the door and just check that they're okay. Check that they're okay. Ask them, is everything okay? And um, just, you know, put, like spread that ripple effect out far and wide. So... With that said, I'm just going to read back some of the comments. Um, so Ivona is saying, a great cafe with lovely cake and tea, definitely my happy place. And here's the thing, Ivona, even if you're not currently at that cafe with your cake and tea, just sitting and thinking about the best cake and tea that you've had at the best cafe with the best people, <clears throat> just reliving one specific experience will fire off those happy place, um, you know, happy place. I wouldn't say happy place hormones. They're not, not always hormones, but those happy place 
good feeling vibes around your body. So I love that. I love a good tea and a bit of cake. Um, France Lee says, do Fortnite dance challenge with your kids. Now this shows that I am not down with the kids because I don't even know what that is, but I'll look it up. <laughs> I'll take it as good fun. And again, once you've done that ch that challenge, I, I like that on two for two reasons. If you're dancing and moving your body about, it helps to release all of that kind of static stuff that might be stuck in your body and might cause you to feel even less happy than you when you wish to feel. And then not only can you do the, the fortnight dance challenge with your kids, you've got the memories, the giggles, the smiles, and that then becomes your happy place. You can take that with you to the supermarket, to a sales call, to a pitch, to a presentation, to an interview, to a Facebook Live. You don't even have to talk about it. You can just have that great feeling. So I love that too. Um, yeah, Faye's the same as me. You still don't know what fortnight is. <laughs> so... Um, Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, again, just to remind you that at 12 o'clock um, midday, over in the Visibility Vibes Tribe, I'm gonna be having a, a good old chat with Murray Hambro, who has the most amazing story, a really young, dynamic man um, with an amazing story, not too dissimilar to the stories that I know many of you have. I know Alan, um, I always talk about Alan's amazing story from, um, you know, from rough seas to calm waters. Um, Alan, I hope you can make the 12, the 12 noon live. I think you're gonna love meeting Murray and love hearing about his story too, as will many of you. I was completely blown away. And actually, talk about a no excuses approach to life. And this isn't about pushing, about going against the flow. This is about really embracing who you want to be, what you want to do, um, when something quite, quite big happens in life. So hope to see you at midday in there. Um, would love to hear more of your um, your happy vibes in the in the post below and also it goes without saying some of your friends some of your family some of the people that you're connected to right here on Facebook will already have been watching the news and hearing about Blue Monday and buying into the fact that it should be a blue day today I'm going for a white hot Monday um, and I encourage you to do the same so I encourage you to keep putting your good feeling experiences down in the comments below and to share this with the people um, that you know and some of them might you know if you share it on your timeline you never know who might see it if there's a group you're part of where you're allowed to share it again you never know who might see it and also if there's someone that you know could do with listening to this and you want to share this as a private message with them I'd really encourage you to do that so um, thank you so much Francis is saying she can't wait for the interview <clears throat> you have to introduce him um, with the rudimental song I'm sure he probably already knows about it. To be fair, France Lees, he's well and truly lived it. When you hear his story, it will make the rudimental video look like, oh, that wee thing. So uh, can't wait to um, speak to um, him at 12. Can't wait to see you again at 12 if you can make it. It will be over in the Visibility Vibes Tribe group. So do make sure that you're in there. And if not, click visit the group at the top of the page and jump on in. I will check between now and then. Um, I'll check and make sure that you're in there. And if you're watching this for the very first time, thank you for watching. So um, have a great and fantastic white hot Monday. And remember just to go back through and pick out maybe one of those fives that you're, you're gonna um, go for and let us know your happy place, your good feeling vibes. Um, I'd love to hear them. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of love and bye for now.